Nigeria took another L after Anthony Joshua, AJ, lost to DD, Daniel Dubois. Well, I was told that Daniel Dubois is originally from South Africa. And I wouldn't want to know that we lost to another South Africa again. So I'm praying that that information are completely false in being a South African. Well, this is the reason why I think AJ lost to Daniel Dubois. Because if you check the match, you see AJ was a little bit like playing. However, Daniel dropped in numerous times, like three times or so, before the final knockout. But AJ was still playing. Like, look at this video. AJ was playing and he had too much confidence. Too much confidence. No, we talked about AJ not having confidence while facing some of his recent opponents. But this time he was just having too much confidence and playing. And in a way disrespecting Dubois. Which I really, really understand. He underrated that guy. He thought he was going to walk into that ring and just vandalize Danny. But well, unfortunately, he got himself vandalized by this guy. So he had so much confidence, too much confidence. He thought he was going to be the heavyweight champion after that. Come on, man. Come on, man. And he was playing, making that uh, gesture, bringing out his tongue and uh, acting as if he already won the match. And you see how he just pushed through. As soon as he made that gesture and uh, landed that locking, uh, locking punch, he thought he was going to finish the game. Not knowing that this guy was setting him up for a trap. If AJ relaxed himself way more and box with his head, he would have won, uh, he would have won that match. Sim simple. But he was just too pressing, too pressing. He wasn't calculating. He was just throwing punches. He was just throwing punches. And meanwhile, he cannot even count and punch. He cannot even receive the same punch that he was throwing. Because if you receive the same point that you are throwing, then you can't be able to withstand it. You can't receive the same punch. And yet, we were throwing punch as if you are a kid who just want to just, you know, come on, man. I know it's not easy to box, not as the way I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm saying it and uh, illustrating it, but I believe that if AJ, anytime I see AJ so quiet, calculating, respectful, he usually win his, win his match. When he's so quiet, calculating and not under pressure, not pressurizing himself, he usually win the match. You understand? But this time, he was so under pressure because he was dropped. So he was like, nah, I need to get my momentum back. I think uh, the his, uh, bench people that usually uh, talk to him should have told him, relax yourself. Relax yourself. You get it. You got this under control. Relax. Don't be in a rush. He was so much in a rush. He was just he, he underrated the guy. He thought even press conferences and everything. The way he speaks to Daniel Dubois, he speaks as if he has already won the match. You know, but I feel if that if uh, AJ has relaxed himself and gained total control and knows exactly how he was calculating then I think he would have won the match. Easy. Easy. I don't think if they are going to be a rematch, though. I don't think it's if they are going, going to be a rematch. And when it comes to retirement, AJ is not retiring anytime soon. The only time I will wish AJ to retire is when he finally fights Tyson Fury. Yeah, that's when I will wish AJ to retire. But now, I do not think AJ is retiring anytime soon. He still has a, has a lot in him. And it's one of the most uh, bankable uh, heavyweight champion in the world. So I don't think they're going to allow him to just retire like that. I think they're going to keep him for a, at least for four years until he's like 30 something, 38, thereabouts.
to uh, to keep him there. And Duba also is very young, 27, and AJ is 33. AJ came there with so much uh, confidence, knowing that he has so much experience, and uh, uh, he, he just lost the match, honestly. I thought he would have. I honestly, if AJ had be respectful, just like the way he used to be, you know, respecting his opponent and not making such gesture, and then relax and don't and don't put himself for that pressure. I I believe he would have won that match easy. Like, do not just press. Relax yourself. Eh? When he landed that lucky that lucky punch, boop. Everybody thought uh, Dubois was done, but. Unfortunately, the guy dropped AG, and AG was just flat as if he was seeing stars with his ass up. <laughs> Humiliated AG. Well, I was sad, but uh, I, I couldn't be sad for so long. So, AG, sorry, and they bounced back again. we still going to support you as Nigeria, regardless of any, uh, of any, uh, of any challenge or any loss you take, or any win you take. Well, that being said, let's play this. David Doe is a pity and a shame. You know that, sir? This David Doe driver, I'm giving you 24 hours. Return that car with David Doe buy for you. David Doe is a bad man. Hypocrite, Naivi. Now, now only Nigeria, would they claim to help people, but at the same time, we are not happy then. You know they help that guy, not be happy they keep that guy. Because now, you carry a car, give person, car of 25 million era, give person what we say, salary not pass 20,000 era. I want to maintain the car, you claim say they help the man. You know the helper. Now, wicked man are you be? You also, see, that David driver, can the camera come? I'm giving you 24 hours, return that can go give David. If you want really help, may go open business for you. If you want help you, may go open business for you. Okay, now, they buy you a car of 25 million era with a salary of 70,000 era. How you want to maintain the car with the current price of fuel for this country? If you say that person will do good for you. Now, see my advice for you. Carry that car, go give David Do. I'm giving you 24 hours, return that car to David Doe. So I say, ah, boss, who are... I said, the guy should return that car and say, boss, who are... give me the money so that I'll start up business. You remember that car David Do bought his driver, a Lexus, uh, I don't, uh, I forget, about 2002, 2004, uh, Lesser Jeep, and it's what apparently not close to what he said, though, but apparently close to like uh, 11 15 million thereabout. And uh, apparently, this guy said the driver's salary is like uh, it's like uh, 70,000 naira. Meanwhile, that's not true. I do not think David is paying that driver 70,000 naira, I think he's paying way above. We, this guy do not know the actual salary of that guy, but then again, David do may have given that guy so many things. Don't forget, David Doe Gitman has a house. As a, as a then, the Gitman they has a house on his own that David Doe, that he got through David Doe. So, if David Doe bought that guy a car, certainly there are still other properties as well now. Huh? So, even if David Doe bought that car for him, he has every, every option to resell that car or do whatever he needs to do with, or swap that car to a Corolla, then collect the balance. Hmm? He has every right to do that. So please, uh, if someone, uh, David Joseph should also have known. So for David Do to buy that guy a car, that is to say the guy, he has given that guy numerous stuff before. So he just feel like, you know what, car is the next thing that, 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 that I want to give you. So this guy is not in the position or anywhere close to to tell David Doe exactly what to do with all the driver. But then again, it's not advisable. I'm not talking about the guy. I'm, I'm not talking about David Doe's driver. It's not advisable to drive a car of even 10 million naira or even f drive a car of uh, 4 or 5 million naira. And meanwhile, you are receiving a salary of 70,000 naira. It will be extremely, extremely hard to maintain it. But if you are riding a car kind of 1.5, a, a small Mazda or a, a small a smaller Corolla uh, that is easily maintained, then I can say, okay, good and fine. You can be maintaining it with your 70,000 naira salary. But now things are quite expensive. Even buying oil, oil, yeah? engine oil, expensive, like 18,000 to the 20,000 naira. 
plus the filter and the changing brake parts and every other thing. So 70,000 Naira will still not be enough for you to maintain any car. Honestly speaking, we still not be enough for you to maintain the car. But you can maintain a bike though, if you if you are any such amount of bike, a mini bike, you know those expensive bike, a small transportation bike, a bike for for commercial use. So you can manage that. But uh, a car, seventy thousand naira is still small. But I do not think that driver is any seventy thousand naira. I think it's way above what this guy is saying.